Welcome back to the adventures of King Moon Moon Sun, the accursed of Griso. Why are you asking uh, if there is a Chinese man in Greece? Firstly, that's racist. Secondly, because we are playing um, the, the Shatter... Did we ever come up with a good name for this series? It's just called CK2 by Committee, but it's... But, okay, we ruined the world. That's all. If you're tuning in for the first time, the world is ruined. Don't worry about it too much. It's a long story. So basically, we've conquered Greece. Uh, last episode, we spent a lot of time trying to fix things, by which I mean getting rid of the Greek people and installing our own glorious Chinese dynasty um, and glorious Chinese compadres into seats of power across Greece. We've got a couple of Greek people left, but that's nothing that we can't deal with when we get revoke uh, religious titles, which hopefully won't be too long. What do we need for that exactly? Let me just double check before we get that laws tab, please. Thank you. Um, religious revocation. We need ourselves medium crown authority, so basically we've just got to wait another 40 years. Oh, is that all? Only 40 years? Okay, fair enough. And as always, you guys have voted on a new set of goals for today's episode. Some of these goals are much easier than what we've had before. Now, we, of course, have some goals to tick off. And my own personal goal this uh, episode is to tick off some of these goals so that I have to... So that I can save time, should I say, on uh, making this fucking scroll longer every single episode. Because we get more and more goals that aren't being completed. So, my own personal goal is to actually achieve something and uh, tick some of these off. So, first things first, rename... Constantinople to Tesco Express, as voted on by the committee. There we go. Boom, we've done it. One goal is finished. Maybe I'll put in a little fanfare or some shit. I don't know if I remember to do that. Next step, um, conquer Estonia. Conquer Estonia. Uh, that's difficult. We have 2,100 men. They have 1,700 and 1,300. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got to mention something, and a lot of you guys have probably expected this. Uh, save game broke. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you know, I think you were waiting for it, if you're a fan of this uh, channel. I'm sure you knew this was coming eventually. Yeah, the save game is broken. Um, specifically when I installed the better looking garbs mod, I didn't realise that it actually um, affected the portraits via traits. Although, in hindsight, that seems pretty obvious in, in, now that I come to think of it. Uh, so, basically everything's broken. All of the traits are fucked up and wrong. So, if we look at, say, our daughter here, she's a uh, curious um, Kashatriya cased. Uh, an Indian case to Warrior and Kings, if you were wondering. Uh, our son has wry mouth, and uh, you know what? He doesn't look too different. He, he looks fine. What about our other daughter? She's got malaise. Um, our other wife, sorry, daughter, looks fine. We ourselves got off of it scot-free, more or less. Uh, we got left-handed and silver-tongued. I think we were possessed. Were we ambitious? I don't think we were ambitious. I don't think we were wrathful. I don't think we were honest or trusting. But we've got those. Oh, we were deceitful, but now we're honest. Oh, that was kind of a buff then. Yeah, because if you look at that, I haven't unpaused yet. Zoroastrians especially loathe, loathe deceitfulness. It's still being applied. Um, so if we unpause and actually let that tick for a while, we should be okay. The Greek Revolt is over. Now your attention turns to where it started. Estonia. Because that's our plan for today. Why are we invading Estonia? I still don't quite know. But we can do that. We've got four boats. Is that really it? Um, Constantinople. Where are, my, where are my boats though, friend? Uh, is it because you are... No, you are Zoroastrian. Oh, shit. Well, that's worked perfectly. Uh <laughs> Oh shit, we've really broken the game. You know what, let's not worry about it. Like like I said, we've got bigger fish to fry. Um is is there anything else that's sort of fucked up significantly enough for me to worry about? Um Warrior Woman? Okay, understandable. Uh this dude is uh weak, that's okay, that's fine. Um I'm just checking out the bigger kingdoms before we start just to see Im Imama. This character is the rightful inheritor to Muhammad. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, what's the plan? I say we need some boats before we can really do anything at all. In fact, I don't just say that. I, I mean that, because that's true. Why have we got the option to build reinforced stone hill forts twice there? Oh, Jesus. How much is broken? Small docks does not give any boats. It actually just gives tax. I suppose that's not technically building boats, though, is it? It's just a dock. Uh, galleys plus six. That's what we're after. Let's start building up our fleets, ready for the grand invasion of Estonia. The Han Chinese Greek invasion of Estonia. Um, uncrowned. Oh, fuck off with that. Really? Oh, god damn it, we've got to have another coronation. Okay, you know what, fair enough. Excellent. This man and... Oh, god, his clothes are all over the place. Oh, shit. Oh, it's so broken. Um... <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, we'll worry about that later on. What's happening here? We've got some sort of internal rebellion. Um, Who's this? Defending against Peripherorius of the... Oh, okay, there's a revolt. Can you not? Can you? Can you come to some sort of peace? Excellent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right. Okay. There we go. We've stopped that. I'm a little bit more proud. We are now crowned once again and a second feast. Right. Good. Okay. What do our vassals think of us like right now? And the question is how many Greek vassals do we have really? Um, wow. Actually none. Holy shit. Good work. We've just got Greek sub vassals. We've also got this person here who's apparently Hellenic, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, how have you ended up Hellenic? Oh shit. Their educator is Greek. 
Right, okay, you've got to die. We'll replace you with a proper Chinese Han uh, child at some stage. Get the trait patient, 20% chance. That would be nice. Nice. Okay, that works really well. Thanks, Moon Moon Sun the second. We're 70 years old, so we are about to die. Um, what can we do before then? I'd like to form an empire level title, actually, before we die. So that we can make a work on uh, Chinese imperialism. That's one of our major goals. So it was flipping the Byzant Byzantine Empire into uh, Hans Arastrian. But if we can get Chinese imperialism too, that'd be very, very cool. I've never played with Chinese imperialism before, so that could be interesting. Oh no, Chief Yi. What could have happened there, I wonder? Lose the trait, honest. Oh, what a loss, really. Honestly, I don't really mind that. Oh shit, we've got another Greek rebellion. Um, peace, please. Can you stop? Most unfortunate. Uh, can we do anything about that? Can we, can we kill him, maybe? What's he got? 271%. Let's kill him dead, because I don't really want any more Greek uprisings. Uh, rebel, trusting, ambitious, shy. These all seem right to me, more or less. Okay, uh, kill him dead. Excellent. What have we got? 272%. Oh, my concubine. Oh, shit, my daughter is pregnant. Oh, shit. She's prolific as well. Was she always prolific? Oh, hang on. She's also curious. And I didn't notice that. Um, I'm not sure if she's always had that or whether or not that's a recent development, but that's really good because that kid has a high chance of getting prolific. Now, if they... Oh, we've also ended up with Silver Tongue and Left Handed, which are inheritable. Damn. Okay. Um, if we get a kid with all of these, then I'll be happy to die. But until then, I'm... I'm would rather stay alive until we can actually get ourselves in there with all of those because our son, Prince Moon Moon, pretty shitty. In fact, he's so shitty, I might... Oh, but if I kill him off... Then we haven't got any heirs at all, have we? Because we are... What are we? Agnostic? Cogn oh, we're only... Shit, we're only primogeniture. No vassals are fighting each other. No count or higher vassal tier has a negative opinion of you. That should be pretty easy to fix, I think. Um, the only problem with that is, is this dude causing all the issues. If we can kill this guy off, then hopefully... I mean, firstly, they'll war end because it's a rebellion. But secondly, it'll also stop us having a negative opinion vassal as well. So he's really putting a spanner in the works here. So I had to shuffle around the council pretty significantly there because unfortunately a lot of them had lost stats due to the traits being shuffled around. Same with the minor titles as well with some of our commanders, but honestly the ones we've got are pretty decent. Um, if they haven't got a good marshal, they've got good stats there in terms of like siege leader and things like that. I'm happy to have like five marshal siege leaders just because of the speed it'll help. Um, the council is better. I've got this guy overseeing construction in the capital and also now building tax holdings there. We also want to, I'm going to say train troops because we haven't got any retinues, have we? We could afford some though, I suppose. Um, no, I'd rather invest in infrastructure this early on, actually. I'll, I'll go for train troops. Uh, you can study tech in... No, actually, build a spy network. That could come in more handy. Uh, proselytize, because we haven't proselytized anywhere. And we have a son called Zigu. Uh, we're gonna call you... Uh, shit, what should we name Zigu? How about the lovely name Pigu? As in, uh, because it is currently the year of the pig. Was 819 the year of the pig? I'm not sure. We're gonna go with Pigu. There you go, young Pigu. Um, basically, Shirai has been built in Dongville. Excellent. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, no, I already started Castle Town. Now, uh, have we got any trade routes yet? Because that would be incredibly nice for the... Uh, yeah, we actually do. Shit. Um, nice. Oh, I thought I'd lost that one. So I've granted this... Oh, no, no. no was it New Euboia that I granted away? Okay, nice. So that's actually going to help with a lot of uh, tax issues that we've got now. What about this one as well? Greece Corfu. Is that not ours? Oh, it's our vassal. Shit. Okay, my mistake. Um, what about, like... Uh, wait, Constantinople. Why the hell have I not built... Sorry, Tesco Express. Why the hell have I not built a trading zone there? So we need to upgrade this to a castle pretty much as soon as possible. Um, luckily enough, all we need for that is another 148 gold, and we can do that pretty... Oh! Hey, there we go. Nice, that worked out pretty well. Um, we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Now, we should make make capital. No, upgrade holding. Why can't we upgrade it? Um, normally, all you have to do is start that construction for it to work, but I guess not. Maybe there's something else I need to do first. Anyway, it, it, it's not a big deal. Uh, we're going to get trait kind. That seems good by me. So a lot of our vassals are going to love us now. We should probably also educate our... Holy shit! Silver tongue. Brilliant. Prolific. And immaculate? I think each of these have like a 15% chance to inherit. Fucking hell. Although saying that, we have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And only one of them has had an inheritable trait. Um... So eventually, statistically, we have him, but getting all three of the good ones, along with... So what didn't he get? He just didn't get left-handed. Huh. And he was pretty much guaranteed to get prolific anyway, because both of his parents have pro uh, prolific there. That's hard to say, constantly. Um, where is Babby? Holy shit, I wish I'd have given you a better name than Pigu now. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, um... What do we think? Thrift? My god, he's got 96676, and he's zero. Thrifty for you. And you know what? I'll educate you myself, just to try and uh, get him as great as possible. This son is so much better than our other son. 
to the extent that I'm quite happy to murder our other son now. Goodbye, Prince Moon Moon, son the second. Uh, time for you to die, my friend, because honestly, you have a better, a, a better heir, a better pretender. Now, I think all these portraits are fucked up because of the traits being fucked up as well. So the way that these um, portrait editions appear, so say, for example, this dude getting this little um, like mouth cover, the little mask, is actually an invisible trait that gives his portrait that property. Same as getting like wounded or scarred. It might give your character a scar on the face. There's an invisible trait giving him the, the face mask. So... Because all the traits are fucked up, I can only assume that's affecting maybe the position or or what traits they're supposed to have. I'm not sure. I honestly, I don't know how else to explain it besides that. Um, either that or I've installed it wrong, which might be right as well. Bearing in mind that I use the auto installer and I'm not sure that was entirely the best idea in hindsight, but there we go. Um, let's invite some people to our plot. Let's expedite the process a little bit because we could drop down dead any time at all. And honestly, playing as a zero-year-old god character is better than, you know, being resigned to playing as a character that we can't murder off. So, 305% plot power. And we've got a spy network being built as well. We can activate that for an extra 10%, which should help her a little bit. We won't spend any more. Um... Oh. Right. So, not only that, but I also slept with my son's wife. Um... Long story short, basically, I thought he's shit and has bad inheritable traits. We're great and have good inheritable traits, and the kid got left-handed. That's ironic. The one trait that our other kid didn't get there... Um, excellent. There we go. Fortunately, my dalliance with Chang has resulted in a little child, and he thinks it is his. Nice. Good work, Chang. She's, she's his concubine, by the way. Um, former lover? Minus 10? I guess we broke up with her, right? Knocked her up and then, and then broke up with her. Well, that's, you know, that's the nicest method, I think. Now, as per popular demand, I also renamed what I thought, this was my mistake, Dong a Town, or whatever the fuck I called it, to Dongville. 100% my fault. I'm sorry. I went against the committee and I've got some tyranny now. The council is discontent, blah, blah, blah. That's my fault. Okay, I misread it, but hopefully I've appeased you with spelling the words Tesco Express, right? Which probably also makes our crown focus for when we want to move over there, right? Um, but, oh, fucking hell. What is this? Hang on. We'll convert to... Oh, shit. Maybe this is why it's not upgrading. Because we've got two different versions of Stonehill Fort and Earth Hill Fort. Ah, oh, Christ. Well, the good thing is, um, our daughter wife, our daughter concubine, who gave us the godson, is pregnant once more. Um, you watch, this one's gonna come out an inbred hunchback dwarf, and we're gonna have to throw it to the wolves. Here we go. A daughter. Now, this could be the daughter to marry the son. Oh, my God, she came out a lunatic, an inbred lunatic. Moon Moon. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, wait, that's the house. Moon Moon, uh, Chong Zhan, I think is how you pronounce that. Look, you're an inbred lunatic. We're going to call you, um, inbred lunatic. There we go. A, a traditional Chinese name there. Um, oh shit, we had another son as well. Oh, nice. Brilliant. Low fertility, lunatic, inbred. Perfect. Man, given that those things have 10% chance of being inherited and we've already got two kids this quickly, that's not bad. It's a real shame that that's only just kicked in. Um, weird. Zai, terrible name. We're going to call you... Um, wolf food. Because we made an agreement at the start of the series to do it the Spartan way. As voted on by the committee, these kids have to be left out for the dogs. Um, we will kill them later on. We've got we've got um, our, our proper son to kill to start off with. Then we'll deal with these false imposters. I'm so glad you didn't get inbred. Holy shit. Man, he grows so fast. He's already a small child rather than being a babby. I've received word from my co-conspirator, Ch Chief Wang, that bowmen are in place, ready for the moment to strike at my son. Kill him. Please, for the love of God. Kill him dead. And don't let me be caught. Pull. The story we conducted about Lone Bowman seems to be working perfectly. One less threat to the establishment. Excellent. Um, who is Chief Wang Jun Lang? Apparently inherited that province from... Oh, fuck. My grandson has it now. Hang on, wasn't that part of the goal anyway? To have everybody related to us. So that's win-win. Unless he's my heir. Oh, shit, he is. Okay, fuck off. Time to die. Um, goodbye. What, what's our elect... Are we not primogeniture? The oldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. Well, spoilers, fucker. Uh, this kid is not my oldest child. So I don't know why the hell that's happening. Um, oh, but it is primogeniture. So the first son of the... Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, it's time for these visit. Athenai. Yes, I'll go visit there for three gold. And our priest? Who are you? Oh, that's our position game. One learning. Fine. One day, as I am sitting with my son, Pigu, I decided that I should show him an extract from blank in the hopes of teaching him the way of blank. He's very attentive. Oh, excellent. Um, he gained some learning or some martial. He got both. Holy shit, he got like three martial then. Did you see that? Holy shit. 
Um, we also became a duelist in our spare time there, randomly, because we didn't have a hobby. Uh, do we want to try and get the greatest second duelist in the realm? This master seductress, timid warrior woman. How, uh, Weiji, my friend, I need you to train me. I fell in love with my wife as well, which doesn't seem appropriate at all at this point of the game. Um, we get to train Brawny, holy shit, my god. This guy's become a powerhouse over the course of, like, two episodes. We kind of set that title from who? From my grandson. Um... I mean, I don't want to do that. Do, what, do we have claims on it? Why the fuck do we have claims on it? We want to just kill him off, because we're going to inherit it anyway, right? And what's, what's the plot against it now? 265%. Uh, that's that's quite a lot. Now, what's our spy master up to? Um, not spying, apparently. Let's get ourselves. She'll do, Martha. Courtier in Greece has a gift, so you don't end up assassinating me. Here you go. You can be my designated region. And let's build that spy network. Then, once we've dealt with that, we can invade Estonia. But first things first, we had a daughter named, oh my god, inbred low fertility. Wow. Um, we, okay, so we're already feeding the wolves. You can be fish food, because the wolves are already being fed. So now fish, fish food. Good. Don't get too attached to them, because they won't be around for long. It helps if you don't name them, I find. Uh, thrift. No, we will train you in struggle, because ironically, that's what you're going to be doing as the fish rip you apart. Uh, pick an ambition. What do we want? 15 children. Exalt among men. What do we need? 3,000 prestige for that. Hey, that's doable. That's actually doable. Yeah, let's try let's try for that one. Oh no, lovely Moon Moon. What could have what could have happened to you? Uh lovely Chief Sun Moon Moon. Oh, what just absolutely too cruel for children. I agree. So so our heir now is the is the really, really broken kid. Three years old, ten marshal. We really have to pour everything we've got into this, because honestly, this kid's so fucking good. Um I do have the friendly aggression pact mod on, which I didn't realise you could also do with children. Excuse me, my three year old son. Can we sign a non-aggression pact? Holy shit, did that? That's fucking ridiculous. Why, did, why have they allowed that? Send him a gift as well, just to keep him as happy as possible. This kid is going to come out great, I'm telling you now. Okay, friends. It's time. Oh my god, look at Norway and Sweden. They're just swallowing up everything. We need to actually beat them to this here. Um, shit. Hang on. Swedish subjugation of... Oh, Swami, that's not a problem. Right. Claim, uh, Kelavan. And claim, Nava. Or as we would call it today, Estonia. Let's grab it. Alright team, um, we have a mission. If you choose to accept it, that happens to be sailing halfway across the world in not enough boats to go and claim land that's completely irrelevant. Why have we done that? Well, the committee voted on it. I, I have no say. You know what? It's out of my hands. It's middle management's fault, okay? Um, shit, we really don't have enough boats, do we? Uh, shit. We could hire 40 men. Yeah, do you have any boats though? I mean, we could hire some boats, but there's not much point. Okay, we're going to have to ship the men over. Very, very slowly. Or we could walk across the entirety of Europe. How many men have you guys got? 1,900. Shit. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, uh, let's drop them off in, like, Kiev or something. And come and pick up another lot later on. Uh, split you guys in half. Uh, split you guys in half. Get on the boat. Right, okay. We'll send this lot up first. Can okay, we just go drop them, like, um... What is it, like, over here? And then just wander them up? Yeah, that seems like a much better plan. Um, ask my friends to join the war, please do. Oh, shit, the Yom's Vikings formed. See, this has worked fine. Look at his fancy helmet. Conscientious, playful, sympathy for Judaism, warrior woman. <laughs> the fuck are we done for this game? More barbaric miscreants to be slaughtered. Um, where are my boats? There we are. I'll manage somehow. Okay, he didn't want to join us. Let's go and actually send the troops up to Constantinople. In fact, that makes more sense for a rally point from now on. Dongville, you're out. No, Dongville. Oh, do I have to place another rally point? Before? That's such a stupid system. I hate that. CK2. You're fired. Okay, move that there. There we go. So the fleets and the armies will now all uh, coalesce in Dongville. Oh, sorry, Tesco Express rather than Dongville. Um, the troops there? Right. We'll drop off our first slot. Now, we're not going to move in until we've actually, you know, got a decent amount of forces to make it worthwhile. Okay, next slot. Who's dying? My daughter, Fish Food, died of cancer at the age of one. Incapable cancer. Wow, she was really not long for the world, eh? Uh, what about you? You're still an inbred lunatic. Uh, I'll train you in thrift. You know what? I might educate him myself just to see what happens. Uh, who do we want? Actually, you know what? Chen, you're fucking good. Sorry, Shen. Uh, you're really good. Yeah, educate my liability of a son. Thank you. His name is Wolf Food. Don't ask why. Um, why can't we pick these boats up, though? Oh, because they're pick these boats up. Why can't we pick these men up? Because the boats aren't there yet. Okay. Right, team. Uh, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is go and join us. We can upgrade Corfu to a castle. Why fucking Corfu, though? Why not somewhere better, like Constantinople, which I'm now almost got a reinforced hill for in? I guess it must have been the other one. I guess it, I think it must be this one instead. There, there's some weird things happening with the game right now. Let's not worry about it too much. Now, we did see some Estonian troops heading down to try and kill us there. Um, oh, shit. Really? There's no... 
There's absolutely, there's not enough supply just to hold a thousand men. Well, this is going to end well. Um, merge these boys. Get the best commanders we've got. Oh, shit, we're an incredibly good commander now that we've got the duelist trait and the brawny trait. All right, and let's head up. Um, ask my friend to join the war. Troublesome peasants. Yeah, yeah, actually join me, though. Send me some money. Okay, you know what? Whatever, that's fine. Um, should we go and pick up the last of the troops, or do we want them for a home defense force, just in case we get very angry Estonians? Here they are. Wow, they actually walked all the way down here, did they? That's insane. Um, let's go, let's go deal with these boys, then. Let's go tidy things up a little bit. Um, sorry? Dongville besieged. Oh, shit. They, they went straight for the capital. They beelined for it. Um, Antonia, Kalakinos, and Jangui. Go and deal with this, my friends. Thank you. Uh, happy to, yeah, no rewards for you. We're fighting Estonians right now. The Estonians are attacking the the Greek, Chinese, Zoroastrian rulers. Who the fuck are these guys? Caliban? Oh, shit. So these actually are Estonians that have come down. Not just their allies. Okay, there we go. 21% war score. That's a nice start. Oh, shit. That's a lot of boys. Ooh, careful. This is getting a little bit dangerous. All right, so that's them got rid of um, for the most part. Are we in their capital yet? I should probably go and check on that, eh? Uh, whereabouts are we right now? Oh, shit, we are. Oh, my God. We have barely enough men. Oh, my God. We don't have anywhere near enough men. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Because we've got, as you guys described it, uh, commanders, apparently. Apparently, if we have siege commanders, then then shit like this will happen. That's so annoying. Um, Okay. We are going to have to boat these boys up after all, then. Okay, team. Uh, If you guys could go and get some boats, we should be good. <laughs> Unbelievable. Diarrhea. Understandable. It's all that time spent in Estonia. Riddled with it. Well, um, we have cancer. Well, that's not good. Um, we're probably not going to survive for much longer in that case, seeing as we are already 77, please. Oh, shit. Successful experimental treatment. Giving us stat buffs. Thank you. Um, we've got just enough men at home to actually defend home. The downside is... Um, shit, did I just lose all my embarked troops? Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought there were empty boats. Game. Game, don't do this to me. Okay, right, raise the men again. Right, raise the fleets as well. Um... Shit. This is... How are we supposed to win this? They're all the way over the other side of the damn world. All right. You know what? Counter siege this. Kill those boys. What an annoying war. Committee, why did you vote on this? <laughs> Go, to inv Go invade Estonia. That's a good idea. And now we've gained the brave trait. And that's probably something to do with the fact that we've declared a war on Estonia in the winter. Uh, maybe we should have done this one at a time in hindsight. But you know what? I feel like I have a good feeling about it this time. You know what? We're not doing bad. Let's, let's uh, tidy up this one first because we've obviously got a decent amount of war score with these guys. Go off my court position at once. Our weird kids that we didn't want to keep around are all dying. Let's build a fort here trying to... Oh, the attrition. Um, that's still not enough. To... Oh, for fuck's sake. We're going to have to go pick up more dudes. Ah, now they're... At... Oh, God. They're actually attacking us as well. Shit. Um, this is going to be such a difficult war. Just because it's such a ball lake to try and get troops up there. We'll just die. That's easier. Let's not go to war with Estonia. Let's just die instead. Succession crisis. Oh, fuck. Please. Please. Grown up to Dongville are awfully nervous. Shut up. Doesn't matter. So I just lost everything. Oh, no. Now I'm playing as a woman. Now I'm playing as my old Greek wife. Hang on, Swift. No. What do you mean? Moon Moon Pigo is not her heir. So if we... Die now, it's game over, and we're 58 women, so we actually can't get an air. So we've just lost the game, is what you're telling me. But that's that's her brother. That's her half brother. Hmm. TK2 plus. Sometimes I honestly think you need to fuck off. Oh, all those walls ended inconclusively. Oh, well, fuck it then. Who? Okay, get rid of the boats. Where are the boats? Put them down. Where are they? Send me, send me the boats. Um, oh no, they're, they're actually just gone already. Okay, so my boats were automatically disbanded in the middle of hostile territory. So that's another great thing I, I'm glad we had control over. Well then, back to square one. Um, we can at least educate uh, Pigu, which is something. Whether or not it's going to come out any good at all because of our stats being fucking shit. I mean, we've got Zealous, which is fine. Um, deceitful and with Zoroastrian. We definitely don't want him to have that. Oh my god, is there a better guardian for him? Because we are really, really bad. Um, look for anyone who's patient and humble and diligent. Um... What are you trying to educate him in, realistically? This person is humble and patient and just, but also arbitrary? Right. You know what? You're fine. So I'm going to get you to educate him instead because your traits aren't too terrible. And now I suppose we just kill time because we might just end up with a game over anyway because of um, game mechanics introduced by CK2+, which I don't think intended for a scenario like this to occur. Uh, 
Don't think anyone would complain if I reload back into this character if we do get a game over. Weird. Well, we gained the Diligent trait, so that's a start. Unfortunately, we also gained Raiders and a Rebellion. Like, quite a large Rebellion as well. We should just be okay, because, you know, it's only 1,200 men. Um, still a little bit annoying, especially as I shouldn't really be playing as this character, but there we go. Maybe I'll disable that for next episode. What do we think? Really annoying that we kind of got close to our Estonia goal and also didn't finish that one either. Um, oh, shit. I was hoping we could honestly just uh, cheese it then a little bit and siege this entire thing down, but never mind. Smell Profit. Thank you very much. We might need that to hire some troops. Ruler Unmarried. Does it matter at this point? Really? Fuck it. Just marry anyone. Like, legitimately just marry any old fucker. Um, arrange, arrange marriage between... No, no, no. Marry button. Marry, marry button. This dude. Whatever. High Chief of Cola. Boom. Let's get married. We've been imprisoned. We've been imprisoned. Game over. <laughs> um, so who was landed? Oh, they they took the whole kingdom of Greece, eh? Feel like I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna roll back a little bit. Well that explains a lot of why we lost last time. I didn't even realise that our capital has moved from Dongaville to Demetrius. Why? Oh no, it, fuck, it's moved to Athens. Why has that happened? There's so, there's so much going on, I'm not entirely sure what's happened. Uh, Gain the trait patient. Sure, I'll take the trait patient. Nope, apparently I won't. Oh my god. Maybe as the godson, though, we could reform Zoroastrianism or something along those lines. Oh shit, we just actually assaulted our army to death. And now we've got another fucking rebellion. Who are you? Naxos Holy War. I'm so annoyed by that succession crisis. It doesn't even fucking make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, fine. Well, we got enough men to deal with that, so I'm not too bothered by that. Unfortunately, they've got to bring... Wait, is that a crossing I see there? This tiny little... Yep, it is. Well, luckily, we can get to them without the need for boats, thank God. Um, let's not assault our troops to death this time. I, didn't, I honestly didn't even know that was possible. Right, um... Seriously? Who was that? Who the fuck are you? Who are these people? Oh my God, it's his allies? Oh, well, shit, that's, that's really bad news, because there's no way in hell we can beat all of these troops. Especially not 1,800 men. Oh, yeah, let's include ourselves in prayer and meditation. That seems like a good plan. Hey, we're back. Um, We didn't get anything out of it. Right, end this war. Fuck off. Right, uh, you can... Can we just kill you dead? Go against the council wall. Oh, right, there, there is no council. Okay, let me fix... Shit. Well, that's not what I like to see. Um, Okay, marshal, steward, spy master, court chaplain, whatever. There we go, right. Um, can I execute that person now? What about you? Execute? Yes. <laughs> Take that. Okay, um... Damn. Okay, we could legitimately be screwed here then. So they're actually just going to take our capital duchies. Um... But less violent way. We've just got to wait for this kid. Oh, right. Now he's our dynastic heir. Oh, this game is so broken. I love it. Um, sure. We'll set ourselves to, um... It, what do you think? Uh... Mass wealth? Sure. Why the fuck not? That'll allow us to extort the peasants, if nothing else. We can't get advisors again. Not sure if that's, again, a glitch with, with what with everything else that's happening right now. Or whether or not that's the same issue that we had in Mad World. But I think that was an issue with Mad World rather than uh, what we're looking at right now. Rule of Married. Again, marry fucking anyone. I could not give less of a shit. We could maybe even call them in if we're lucky. Um, okay, yep. Everyone's concerned. No, I, I will take the prestige. Thank you. Um, these are our best commanders, including us on the flank. Let's hope we get killed. We have upgraded Constantinople to Junshitandingbao. Which I think is uh, pretty much as close to uh, the accurate representation of that pronunciation as you can get. Why the fuck can we still build stone forts in it? Oh, so much is broken. Actually, so much is broken. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, right. We'll deal with that later. As much as I hate to do it, there's no other way that we, we can't do this. Um, so let's go ahead. Take out some money. Hire some mercs. 510 gold. Month cost of 12 gold. That means we can hire them for a month. Maybe not. Um, we'll take you boys instead. Uh, let's get them merged together. And this should just be enough troops to help crush this uh, this invasion that we've got here. Now, obviously, when we win, because this is a defensive war, they're going to give us some war reparations. So we should just be able to pay off this line that we've got um, with whatever the fuck they're willing to offer us. Month balance of 9.7. That's fine. I think we're fully enforced in terms of morale. Oh, shit. They're just reinforced with more troops. Fuckers. Can you not do that? Um, are these really the best commanders we've got? Commanders are definitely going to win this battle for us. 17. Okay, you're on a little bit of an improvement. 16. You are an improvement as well. Okay, uh, 17, 16, 16. 
Let's just go for it. Wow. I've never felt more betrayed. But we've come away with more survivors. So what we can actually do is just uh, swing around here. Let our morale reinforce. Let our troops reinforce. And then go in for another swing. Um, yeah. We, we do actually outnumber them now. So that seems like a fair play to me. Alright. In we go, team. Right. Let's see. Take two. Nice. We've got him. Oh, shit. That was uh, dangerous. Boom. Thank you. Um, what did he give us in terms of war reparations? Nothing. No dollars. Really? Um, why? No, no dollars? Not sure I'm a fan of that. <laughs> well, uh, let's take a look at our goals and see what we can tick off for this episode. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Uh, a lot of it is CK2 Plus's fault. My god, are we ever going to make any progress? Well, last episode we made a shit ton of progress. We've got a really, really good air lined up for next episode. So if we can survive that long, and if he does well enough, look at this. We should have trained him in Marshall in hindsight. Oh shit, that would be, be a really good idea. Thank you for watching. Shout out to my top tier insane ridiculous level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Van Ders, Josh Lendine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman for their support. And at the more sensible Patreon tiers, we have some of the following people. Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Wintonet, Necrophilum, Felix Dale, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Gwet Lachley, Zara Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I'm Eliza King, Wallen Thomas, you're under Reese, Euphrates, Don't Call Two and Seven, Jordan Campbell, Asar and Sydney. Thank you all for your support. And everybody else over at the Patreon as well. No matter how much or how little you have pledged, it is appreciated. What a weird series. Um, committee, I don't want to influence you, but please vote on something that will save the realm. Please. Please, we're so doomed.